What's going on, everybody? I'm W. And I'm the Thick Baby. And we're going to be bringing you some comic news. Got some great comics coming out this week. Got a new Batman series, Spectacular Spider-Men, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Last Ronin Part 2. Let's check them out. All right, first one to look out for this week is Ultimate X-Men number one coming March 6th. Uh, this is from creator Peach Momoko. Hopefully I'm saying your name right. Uh, she has done Demon Days and Star Wars Visions, and this is bringing us a whole new squad of X-Men uh, and new characters that have been mentioned are Armor and Maystorm. Oh. Don't know what their powers are, but based new on their names, is always sounds cool. fun, though. Yeah, so I would go pick that one up. It's a whole new X-Men series. What's not collectible about that? For real. Yeah. Uh, next up, we got The Spectacular Spider-Man number one coming March 6th. This comes from Greg Wiseman, and who is the writer of The Spectacular Spider-Man series that's animated. Okay. Uh, and I didn't get the artist. My bad. Uh, but this is Peter Parker and Miles Morales teaming up for the first time ever in an ongoing series. That will be sweet. Yes. I think... Pick this up immediately for number one. Not only is it the first time ever for them teaming up in just a whole series, but this could lead on to new movies, new games, everything. So pick this one up, number one, and hold on to it for a long time. March 6th. Yeah. Keep it in your head. This is a long-term <laughs> investment one. Oh, yeah. Uh, last one I got is The Batman First Night, number one, coming March 5th, not the 6th. Uh, this is from Dan Jurgens and Mike Perkins. Dan Jurgens is the writer. Mike Perkins is the artist. Uh, this is a retelling of the early days of Batman and one of his most infamous cases through a modern lens. Oh. Uh, this is basically, I think the case was a man on death row has died, but he's the number one suspect in a new murder, oh. which doesn't make any sense. But Batman basically almost loses his life in this one, and it's a retelling of it. Okay, so it's kind of following more of a detective series yes. than... We're back like. to Detective Batman. That's yeah. cool. Uh, I'd pick this one up. Seems pretty collected. Uh, maybe it'll be a good story. I'm not sure. It is a retelling. Yeah. And when they do the modern lens ones on them, it's not usually great. It's kind of, they really took out the meat and bones of it. But they do have a great artist on it who's done a bunch of Batman stuff and a great writer on it already. So I'd pick it up. Yeah, it'll be definitely collectible for at least your own collection. Exactly, yeah. Someone out there is going to want one. Yeah. All right, so we got a big comic coming out this week, but before we get into that, let's do a couple honorable mentions. We honorable have, mentions. <laughs> oh, yeah. We have Disney Villains, number two coming out, which is a new series where they're just going to highlight some villains from their series, give them some backstory and a uh -huh. couple comic issues. This one features Cruella de Vil, and it will be coming out March 6th. It is a 32-page special for four bucks. Yeah, I feel like Cruella is a deeper character than they make her out to be in the movies and stuff. So. I do, too. It's She's definitely not just a, hey, I'm going to come get your dogs and scare them. Yeah, there has them. to be some build-up <laughs> to what's going on there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so it's kind of cool to check them out. Um, I think the first one was Hades from the oh, Underworld. That's a cool, that'd be a cool concept, yeah. Yeah, so first one was great. Second one's probably going to be pretty good, too. We also have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Saturday Morning Adventures number 11. Love a good Saturday morning adventure. So they kicked off the series 1 through 10, and it was kind of, are we going to see where it goes? And we did get a number 11, so we've been buying it enough. Enough people are doing it. Check it out. Yeah. Another 4 bucks, and it is a 28-page special, so a little bit shorter of a book. So, meh. And in slight anime, but it was in my comic section while I was scrolling through my news today. They so always throw this one into the comics, yeah. yeah. I decided to talk about it. One Piece, number 1,109, is coming out. Uh, I think March 4th is a web comic, free to read, I believe. No. And then you should just be able to check it out. Um, and then you can go to stores and pick it up um, if you read Japanese, or you'll have to wait for the English translation. One Piece is one that I feel like when all the manga finally comes out and somebody gets the whole box, it's going to be worth uh, quite a bit. Oh, yeah. That'll it's, be it's huge. It's an over 20-year spanning series. That is, it's going to be a lot. With first uh, prints in there, too, exactly, it'll be yeah. awesome. Like There are going to be some crazy collections yeah, out there. No. It'll be cool to see, honestly. 
And for our big comic this week, we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Last Ronin, number two, Reevolution number one. <laughs> I know, <Lengthy. laughs> it is a mouthful. It is a 52-page comic with a price tag of $8.99, dropping March 6th. It's a bit expensive for a first release, yeah. It is. Um, and if you find it in foil cover, I believe the foil cover listing is $12.99. All right, all right. Um, the footnote from the comic read, More than a decade after the last Ronin defeated the Foot Clan, New York City finds itself in a state of steady decline. Now desperate gangs vie for economic and political control, and the chaos is taking its toll. It's clear to Casey Marie that if something isn't done soon, the city she knows and loves will be lost forever. So whether they are ready or not, her young pupils raise a new coalition and lead the charge to keep the peace. Witness the rise of the next generation of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as they fight to restore peace to the streets below. Wow. All right, so the Foot Clan's gone, so now it's just other gangs. Other gangs, and the Ninja Turtles are gone. These are new... Well, it's the last Ronin, right? Well, no. Or is it a new line? It's the okay. new line of Ronin. Okay. It is the baby little turtles being raised up and Jesus. taught by Casey Marie. So it is turtles are getting weird now. They're getting the crazy out there. new series. It is kind of crazy. But for our Ninja Turtle fans, this will be a key issue in collecting. No. I highly recommend picking it up. And that's all I've got for my comic news. Hey, everybody. I'm the Thick Baby. And I'm W. And thanks for watching our comic news segment of the New School Gaming Podcast. If you haven't heard, we have merch out. Go to newschoolproject.us, link in the bio, to pick that up. It's first come, first serve on all the sizes, so make sure you get there fast. But thanks for watching. We'll be back next week with another comic news segment.